So for purposes of consistency and the fact that I want to do this as raw, primal, and emotional as possible, but also logically, I'm going to attempt to keep this video as unedited as possible. There will be no intro, no outro, anything in between. I will try to limit the cuts unless something messes up with the audio, as occasionally my audio program with my editing will kind of fuck itself and decide to have a seizure, but for the most part, I wanted to explain the most serious situation that this channel has ever faced and why I've been inactive the past few days because I have genuinely just been a bit lost and confused and curious of how to handle the situation. I don't want help with this and I don't need anyone sticking up for me or standing by my side in that sense. I would prefer to handle this myself and put forward my points to hopefully debunk, explain myself, and explain the situation that I am currently going through and that is facing both myself and the channel as a whole. So to start off, you've read the title. Jeff Becerra, legendary vocalist, legendary frontman of the famed death metal band Possessed, the forefathers of the genre. It's argued a lot if it was them or death that caused the uproot of the genre, but in my personal opinion, I do believe it is Possessed. And through the course of this, I am in no way going to degrade, demean, or diminish the integrity and the respect that I have for Jeff as an artist, for what he's done, the trials and tribulations that he has been through, and all that he has done for extreme music as a whole alongside Possessed. Recently, I had a major spike in viewership on a review that I did in mid-2019 of Possessed record Revelations of Oblivion, which was their first record in a while, one that I was very much anticipating, looking forward to, and excited to finally cover when it did release. When this record released and I dropped my review, it did decently well. I believe it got around two to 250 views, which was, at the time, quite a bit for me. I was excited by this, and I had some very critical things to say in that review. As someone who was an avid follower and had a deep level of respect and a deep-rooted satisfaction with listening to possessed material, I had good things and I had bad things to say about the record. And in comparison, that is not one of my lowest scores, and comparatively speaking, it is positive, or more so positive than many others, in the greater scheme of my channel and lower scores on the spectrum that I have given. But I will not doubt and I will not deny the fact that I had some harsh words to say, both about Jeff Becerra as well as the band as a whole, as I thought the sound was dull, not as sharpened as their past material, and a lot of people disagreed with me. At the time, it did garner some dislikes, it gained some people that agreed, but there was some healthy conversation between my subscribers as well as newfound people that had come up to watch the video that were not familiar with me that had healthy discussions. Even if some people got passive aggressive or openly aggressive at me, I always answered that with healthy discussion and tried to rationalize my points, get their input, and I never once attacked the integrity of anyone that shot hate my way, because as a critic, as a reviewer, I believe you have to have very thin skin to let something get to you to that major of a degree that someone disagreeing with your opinion as someone who focuses heavily on opinionated discussion that makes you a very shallow and petty person to let that get to you that much. I saw a major spike in this video. On my analytics, which I check regularly because I was looking at the performance of my most recent content, which had been doing very well recently, I noticed that one of my top earning videos in that period in terms of views and in terms of engagement was that review. I saw the title and it really confused me at first and I immediately knew something was up because on my comment section, I noticed that three brand new comments that were within four to five hours of me checking were extremely aggressive and extremely demeaning. Naturally seeing the major spike in views and seeing the major spike in dislikes specifically, I knew something was up. This also corresponded with the fact that concurrently, I was getting dislike bombed on numerous videos that were recently uploaded, such as my King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard review, my Liturgy review, and my Dark Tranquility review, which are my three most recent videos that I have outputted. Seeing this spike and seeing the dislikes and seeing the comments, I knew something was up, so I tried to delve deeper. I went to the analytics to look at where the reach had came from and where these people had come from, and I noticed that 86% of the viewership in the past 48 hours had specifically come from Facebook in particular. So naturally, I started going on a wild goose chase. 
I could not find anything related to it. I looked for possessed groups, I looked at possessed page, I looked at certain people that I knew had a vendetta and a platform against me. There was really nothing, there were no private groups that I could see of, and I was very confused because I saw the hate continuing to pour in, and on the TubeBuddy app that I have installed for Google Chrome, you can see where traction is coming from, and I saw the likes going up and up and up on Facebook. It was at the time, I believe it said over 500, so I knew this was a place that was gaining a lot of traction. Throughout this period, I fully denied in my head that it could have been anyone from the band. I did not even bother looking. This went on for about an hour, hour and a half. I was genuinely scared because I didn't know where this hatred was coming from, where these rude comments were coming from, and my videos were getting dislike bombed a plenty, and they just kept swelling, and I kept seeing the likes go up, and I kept getting more comments, so I was confused, I was scared, I didn't know what exactly was happening, but I attempted to keep a level head as much as possible to try to get to the bottom of it and I tried to do it in a diplomatic manner to figure out what the hell was going on. The more I delved into it, the more I thought maybe there's a chance that one of the band members saw this. I dismissed this in my head when I first thought about this because in my head, why would they be looking up or seeing a review that was published back in mid-2019, back when this record was first released? Maybe it was recommended or maybe they were looking up underground reviews of the record because plenty of people covered this album at the time because it was monumental and it was a very big moment in death metal as a whole. A lot of people bigger than myself, admittedly, were covering this record and talking about it at length. So in the search results, you would have to kind of go fairly far down to find my video. Naturally, I went and I looked at Jeff Becerra first, the lead vocalist, icon for heavy metal music, and basically solo handcrafter of the death metal genre. And sure enough, that's where this stemmed from. I had a very lengthy message sent on Jeff Becerra's page, a post that was made linking my video and sending a very scathing thing my way. Now, on numerous occasions, specifically near the end, he said that he respected this kid's, that's how he referred to me, and he called me this kid's, I admire his passion and I admire his dedication, but that was about it. And I have no qualms with artists or bands talking out about me or what I do, because that sort of discussion is very healthy and it's the type of thing that I enjoy engaging with other artists and bands. The issue with this is everything that came before, people are going to naturally latch on. It is the similar thing with the mainstream media, how if you see a headline, a lot of people are going to take that headline and run with it. And considering the first panel was just a very gross generalization of what I said and some of the harsher points in the entire in-depth review, people were going to instantly write off and have an instant thought process of who I was as a person and what I did and what I said, and considering the terminology that was used used and the metaphors that were used and picking apart the very big nitpicks that I had with the record, naturally people are going to see that and immediately have a visualization of the type of person they are dealing with when in reality I genuinely feel like people underestimated what I do and what I say. Throughout the past few days, ever since the upload of that post, there has been hundreds of comments on that thread. Everything from death threats, people saying I should die, people saying I'm a poser, people insulting my age, people insulting my appearance in general, the hat I was wearing, the clothes I was wearing, they were insulting my mustache, everything down to my hair, they were insulting my clothes, they were insulting my video quality, they were insulting practically everything that you could insult about the video, they were picking apart my knowledge, they were saying I did not know what I was talking about, they insulted my integrity, they called me irrelevant, they thought that I was a reviewer that had absolutely no track they called me a dime a dozen reviewer, they called me a piece of shit, they called me a hater, I got called a poser on numerous occasions, and I basically just had a bunch of these people by the dozens saying some of the most hurtful things that had ever been said on a public forum directed at me. Anyone that's been around and stuck around on the channel for a while will remember the Kane Hill drama that happened back in 2019, which was quite the conundrum, and 
this is so much worse because it comes from someone that I genuinely look up to and someone that I see as an icon for the genre. And to be publicly outed, although I don't really enjoy using that term, it very much is appropriate in the specific situation that I was called out by Jeff Becerra publicly in front of thousands of people that have every opportunity to see that post spread it around. It has been shared to on Facebook quite a bit. It has many comments. A lot of people have went to my initial video and dislike bombed it and commented like I said and they have made it a very relevant thing. I am fully down and I have expressed on numerous occasions that I enjoy when people have healthy discussion with one another on my videos. I, If you disagree with me, I want you to state your opinion. I want to have a discussion. Even if you disagree with me entirely or if I disagree with you entirely, I am never going to be passive aggressive and I'm never going to be aggressive at someone but the amount of hatred that I was getting on this is immense. And Jeff Becerra himself replied to a comment in which someone was sticking up for me, a guy by the name, I believe, of Josh. I forget his last name. I don't know if you're a subscriber, but I genuinely appreciate it if you are watching this video, if you do know who I am. And Jeff basically said, he did it to me, I'm gonna do it to him. And while I do agree the fact that you get what you serve and if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen and don't dish out what you can't take back or whatever analogy or metaphor you want to use in this scenario, I do disagree that the extremity and the sheer escalation of this entire topic has gone far beyond what it initially was. A, as you, as you appropriately said, and as many people have called out, a stupid ass kid that doesn't know what he's talking about and doesn't know music made a review about your very successful band and had some harsh critiques. If that makes you angry, I understand, and if that makes your fan base who very much loves you angry, I completely understand. But I genuinely do not think that I said one thing in that entire video that warranted the response that I have been getting from dozens upon dozens upon dozens of people. It is immense, it is wrong, and I won't even go so far as to say hurtful because I could care less what people say about me or my integrity. It's not going to stop me, it's not going to make me waver in my dedication. It's not going to make me waver in my motivation, but the fact that people are coming from just a complete and total absence of knowledge about who I am and what I do, calling me someone that doesn't know about heavy metal music, discrediting my knowledge of heavy metal music, saying that I don't cover heavy metal music, saying that I don't know what I'm talking about, about underground metal genres, that I don't know who Possessed are, that I don't know who Jeff is, all because I had some critiques of one specific record in their discography, when on numerous occasions, I have praised them on the channel many, many times throughout the years, and yet people would take this one thing, blow it out of proportion, and make a mountain out of a molehill, and literally go for my throat. I won't lie, it's gotten to me. It fucking sucks. It hurts on multiple levels because Jeff is someone that I genuinely love as an artist and as a creator and that alone genuinely sent a dagger into my heart but just seeing dozens of these people saying these things as someone that has throughout the years struggled with many insecurities and depression and anxiety and fought through that and persevered with my motivation that genuinely got to me on a very, very personal level and a very mental level. It fucked with me, it got in my head, and it wouldn't get out, and that's why I'm making this video. So in terms of debunking some of the things that people are saying, I have been doing YouTube for years, and I understand that anyone with a camera can pick it up and start something. The metal reviewer niche is a very inclusive place, but it is also very difficult to grow in. The people that are discrediting my subscriber base and my view base definitely do not know much about the niche as a whole. Perhaps you are looking at bigger reviewers that cover things outside of metal, such as Anthony Fantano, ARTV, Spectrum Pulse, or a variety of other channels in that lane that cover a variety of other genres that allow them to have more exposure. But in terms of heavy metal, if you look at a lot of the contenders and a lot of the very popular and famous heavy metal YouTubers, it's few and far between that you see one that gains tens of thousands of subscribers. And there are many dozens of heavy metal YouTubers that I can vouch for for being very high quality that have never even breached 500, let alone 1,000.
So the fact that I've been able to build up a fan base is to the credit of what I have put into this channel and the amount of hours I have spent researching, reviewing, listening to, talking about, sparking discussion, reaching out, collaborating, and doing my fucking homework on these genres that I cover and the artists and bands that I talk about and genuinely putting heart and passion into something whether I dislike it or not, giving it the benefit of the doubt and playing devil's advocate and just attempting to give you guys music recommendations whether I enjoy it or not, that is irrelevant. I am one of the bigger channels in this niche currently, and I came up in the contemporary with some other very good channels because I care about what I do, I work hard at what I do, and I don't care what people say. It has never discouraged me. I have been called so many names and I've been talked down to throughout my entire YouTube career, if you really even want to call it that, and that, have only, that has only bolstered my confidence in terms of, I know what I'm good at, and if there's one thing that I'm good at, it's making these fucking videos, it's researching these topics, it's speaking well. It's making these scripts. It's making these edits. It's making these thumbnails. That's all me. I'm an independent channel. I don't have people backing me. I'm not a big corporate entity. I'm not some reviewer with a bunch of subsidies and a bunch of Patreons, patrons backing me. I'm just a guy that genuinely gives so much of a shit about this music that people damaging that credibility and talking down to me in that manner genuinely hurts me and it gets to me, but it's not something that's going to discourage me. I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'm going to be here the next day. I'm going to be here next week and I'm going to be here next month. I The whole Rob Halford comparison, that comparison was drawn in a way that is being taken very out of context. People think that I'm comparing him to Rob Halford. I was solely comparing him to Rob Halford in the sense of, I personally feel like Rob Halford can be compared in the sense of aging because he is a definitely a legend. He's in a completely other genre, but he's someone that has a lot backing him and a lot of evolution in his vocals. And I was just drawing that comparison. I was in no way trying to compare them as vocalists because they couldn't be more different in any sense. I never once damaged the credibility of Jeff Becerra as an artist or possessed as a band, and I think people are blowing it out of proportion and making it so much more than it was ever intended to be in that initial review. I stand by my statements in that review, and I would say them again if I was to do it now. I would just phrase them better. My sentiments have been unchanging, and I have no reason to feel any bit differently about the way that I talked in that video or the points that I made, because I have went back to Revelations of Oblivion because I genuinely do want to do a possessed worst to best, and I was going to do a character portrait documentary on Jeff Becerra, but at this point I genuinely don't know if I want to do that because this is just a very harsh over-exaggeration of me and an attack on on everything that I've done to build this channel and me as a person. I get it. I'm young. So the fuck what? I'm 20 years old and people treat me like I'm a 14 year old. I understand that age plays a major role in the whole poser culture and elitism as a whole, but I guarantee that I have done tens, if not hundreds of hours upon the things that I care about and the things that I love. And when I turn on my camera, I never turn it on with any sort of other inclination in my head of not knowing what I am talking about. Have I made mistakes? Have I done something wrong in terms of that? Yes, and I have owned it every single time that I have made a mistake in terms of a typo, missing the song title, missing an album, missing a band, or just whatever, misdoing a genre, anything like that, I will acknowledge that entirely. But I know what I'm talking about, and my opinion is not gospel, and I've never intended for it to be. I'm not the holy grail of reviewers, as is no one. Anthony Fantano, ARTV, Count Blagareth, Spectrum Pulse, Brain Smasher, Wyatt XM, no matter who you look at, Cover Killer Nation in the heavy metal niche. These people don't have the holy opinion just like I don't. I'm trying to spark a conversation and I'm not trying to escalate it to be aggressive and to be passive aggressive just because, just because I have some choice words to say about a specific artist or band or album. Was what I said harsh? Yes. Did I deserve backlash? Probably. If people want to be harsh about it and if they want to defend their opinion, they should defend their opinion to the death of them. They should do it to the grave. But does that mean escalating it to attack me on a personal level outside of my reviews? I genuinely believe that that escalation is unwarranted and I think it is disgusting. And the way that this whole situation was handled is very childish. I have continued to be very level-headed in my replies. I've been very level-headed in what I've said on the Facebook thread. I've been level-headed on what I've 
I've said on the video itself. I've been very level-headed when I've replied to people on the thread as well as the major posts that I made on the thread, but I have not been given back the same respect in any sort of way for explaining myself and trying to maintain my position and let people know what I thought about this entire topic as a whole and my opinion on that whole thing. People can have a different opinion that differs from what I personally believe or what I see, but I would never go after the credibility, I would never go after the appearance, and I would sure as hell never call Jeff Becerra a poser. Can you fucking imagine if I would have went on that post and talked about his wheelchair, or talked about him as an artist, or as a person, or insulted his family, or insulted his appearance? The amount of backlash and shit show that I would be given, but because I'm considered a lower tier reviewer that no one gives a shit about, this is a completely okay thing to just be gross and disgusting and go after these specific things about me as a human being. Can you fucking imagine if I would have said half the things people are saying to me about Jeff Bassett? Sarah, but because he's considered a higher icon, this goes beyond a human level and it becomes down to a pissing match, a dick measuring game of who's more relevant or who's more topical. That doesn't change the fact that I'm a human being and I don't doubt that if I hurt Jeff in some way, I apologize for that and I sincerely apologize for anything that I said that went above and beyond, but I have went back to that review multiple times and I've never once thought that I said anything in that video that was genuinely a very, very hurtful statement to the same degree that people are coming at me. So this is an over-exaggeration. And I'm going to link the Facebook post for you to do your own research to see what Jeff said and to see the comments in comparison. Once again, if you disagree with me, that is perfectly okay. Express that if you're on Jeff's side, that's okay. Even if you're a subscriber of mine and you disagree with what I have said in this video and you agree more with Jeff, perfectly understandable. Just let me know. I would love to discuss this. And I just want to say as a whole, I'm not quitting. I'm going to be back very soon. This is just taking a toll on me and being called out by one of the largest people in extreme music as a whole who has been kicking ass since the early 80s. This goes beyond anything that I've experienced on this channel up until this point, but I'm not backing down and I stand by my opinions and that's that on that. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.